Hey guys, I'm going to talk a little bit today about geocaching. Now if you've never heard of what that is, it's not a way to make money. <laughs> not by playing the game. So it's a worldwide game. I don't care where you are in the world. Um, it's for everybody, no matter your age or skill level. Um, if you're in a wheelchair or if you're a triathlete, I don't care. There is a way for you to geocache. So there's several different ways you can get into the game. I choose an app called Geocaching. There's Cashly. I think they're owned by the same people. Um, you can start out for free, download the app, uh, go on there and, uh, and look at all the geocaches that are available in your location just to get started you could start today download the geocaching app look at what's available in your area and in my area in this general area right here I mean this is just a few miles from me the ones that are green are things I have not located yet the smiley faces are things I have located The stars are things that I have hidden. Now, I don't know that you can see all that, but uh, download the app, you'll see what I'm talking about. So what is geocaching? Well, several years ago, someone um, took advantage of our ability to access uh, the global positioning system as civilians and took a container of sorts put something in there um, note or you know a prize or whatever and hid it in the mountains I think it was in Washington State you can look all this stuff up then posted on the uh, World Wide Web which was probably a bulletin board at the time Hey, I have hidden something at these GPS coordinates. Let me know if you find it. Well, that was the whole start to geocaching. So people would go out and locate the, um, the package, the prize, the cache at those coordinates, take a, um, the way it is now, you actually log your find, you look inside the cache, there will be a log inside the cache, you open it up and sign your um, handle, initials, date, time, whatever you want to do, okay? We use a geocaching uh, username and the date, that's all we put on there. Some people have a stamp, just to make it quicker for them. I'm not into the volume thing. I don't care how many I get in a day, as long as I had fun doing it. So that's as far as Tammy and I take geocaching. We just go, we, we hide some for other people to find. Um, we go and, and most every weekend for the past five months, we have enjoyed geocaching. It takes you to places you probably would not go otherwise. So let me show you you know, some of the things that are in my uh, box, you know, sometimes I'll run across a, a cache that's cracked or broken or needs to be repaired in some other way. I keep some materials there, spare logs. Uh, if their log is full or if it's wet, I've got little plastic bags, uh, waterproof logs, things like that to do repairs. I also have um, several different ideas of things whenever I find something that would be a cool hide in the future. I'll throw it in my cash box. And uh, so these are the waterproof match containers. I've got my bag, my log, all that shoves up in there. I've got it glued to the bottom of just a, a water bottle cap or a Gatorade cap. And I'll actually make a hole in the ground and shove that down in the ground. So all you see is a piece of trash on the ground. I'll give you the coordinates to that piece of trash and you'll probably look right over it because I get a lot of people that say they cannot find my cash. You gotta lift the trash up. I've got, um, you know, some of these are gonna be real obvious. You can hide these up in the woods, you know. 
<laughs> something like that. You find the toy, you flip it over. There's a little micro container up inside there. You bring tweezers with you, pull that log out, sign it, put it back. Those are always big hits. Uh, larger containers, you can actually put prizes in. We typically will carry a, a backpack full of uh, little trinkets for the kids. It's, it's, uh, there's other things you can get into with uh, geocaching as far as putting things in these containers that are meant to be taken and then moved to other containers and the log. There's actually a way on the internet to track where that travel bug, they call it in some cases, where that coin or whatever uh, has gone from this container to another container. There's, there's uh, races that are worldwide where people will uh, take a um, take a, uh, a, a a travel bug, log its location, and try to get as many miles on that travel bug as they can. Uh, we picked up one that had come. We picked it up in Jackson, Mississippi. Its origin was in Germany. Um, we had intent on taking it and putting it in uh, the hands of someone that could take it to Scotland. It didn't work out, but in um, when we logged our uh, move on the internet, that thing had like uh, uh, 30,000 miles on it. It, it had gone 30,000 miles in six months or so. So, so there were several different people that had had uh, 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 travel bugs in that race. You know, <laughs> it's just there's so many different aspects to uh, geocaching. It's not just going out and finding you know what somebody somebody has hidden and logging that's just part of it that's that's um what you know tammy and i do and i'll show you some pictures of the places we've been in the past few months um to kind of give you an idea about you know how it can get you playing in the rain or playing in the mud <laughs> it'll make you do things that maybe you think you know maybe you would think twice about it uh, otherwise, there really wouldn't be a reason for you to go walking in the woods, in the rain, in the cold, except to go find the geocache in a cemetery from the Civil War. <laughs> but anyway, it was a lot of fun. Still is. Uh, we do it almost every weekend. So if you need a, uh, a new hobby or just something to do, consider geocaching. It's a lot of fun. You can start out for free. Uh, if you, if you, I'll just tell you, if you like it, then go ahead and get the premium membership from Geocaching. It's just a few dollars uh, a year. It's not expensive, and it makes it well worth it. It unlocks a lot of these caches are actually for premium members only, so you won't even see all of the caches that are available in your area unless you're a premium member. But start for free download it for free see if it's something that you like if you think it's something you might like then team up with the, with somebody there's you really only need one premium membership for everybody in the car you know so you can see where you're going it's pretty easy uh, you can use your phone to um, to download the membership, to download the app, to, uh, to to use the GPS coordinates and your mapping to get there. Uh, there's ways to use the, the the phone along with the Waze app, and uh, you can drive straight to the location. So I recommend it highly. Check it out. You won't be sorry.